right, so I guess I'll go ahead and get started with the Night Town tutorial. Um, it's only half the length of the other worlds, so this tutorial is probably going to be a bit shorter. Um, but it should go just as much in depth about the levels as any other one. Um, so I'm going to start off with level 41. Um, to start off, what I like to do is jump straight from the starting platform here up to this crystal here on top of the, d of the dome structure here. So just right here and then land against this wall. Um, you can try that out. If you don't want to do that, you can, there's another alternate strat is to roll forward and clip off of this wall right here. So like this, just go right across the gap and then um, just to clip over it and then get to this wall. Um, if you don't want to do that, then you can also just go along the path normally. Um, so those are pretty much the three variations um, for this strat here. Um, I describe them in fastest to slowest order. So the jump here is the fastest, um, the clip over the wall is the second fastest, and then the third one is just to go around, which is the slowest, but it's the safest. Then you want to fall down to this crystal here, and then the next, the next crystal that you want to fall down to is right over there. You can see it, um, and essentially what you want to do is um, you want to fall straight from the upper stair at the top of my screen here down to this crystal here. And then you want to use this um, kind of geometry, this angled plane, to launch yourself over the middle hexagon and then land right around here. So I'll go ahead and show that off in real time. This is the fastest way to do this section. So land right here, go down. Okay, I want to see, I angled a bit too far down there. Let me try and get it one more time. There, and then land right here. So that's kind of the fastest strat. Um, if you're not comfortable with that strat there, then you can always just go down the stairs, land here, go around, get the crystal which is right here, and then just move down here. Once you're here, you want to get this crystal and go up to the checkpoint and stick to the wall, and then just play through normally. Um, here, if you want to go down the pipe, oh, my bad. If you want to go down the pipe more quickly, just hold straight left and then correct it normally. And then start holding forward and then you'll go through the pipe a bit faster. And then here, there's two things that you can do. Or three things, actually. The first thing um, that you can do is just buffer a jump straight off of this platform here and then go straight to the goal. So it kind of looks like this. And then go straight into the goal there. I was going to... Well, didn't want to finish the level there, but whatever. I can just go back and, and explain the other couple strategies. So yeah, um, you're right here. Um, you just go here, then buffer, jump straight off, and then go straight into the goal. See, I just missed it there because I clipped off of the, the pipe, the, the, the edge of the pipe. So it's kind of a precise jump to get. See, I missed it again. I only go for it sometimes in runs. So if you want to try it out and just see how consistently you can get it, it's up to you, but I would only recommend it. It takes about two seconds over, um, one and a half to two seconds over any other strategy, so it's not a huge time save, so see, it's a pretty precise shot. So I just want to see if I can get it cleaned one more time just to show it off. See, like that. Yeah. Okay, so the second strat that you want to do, um, but if, if, that's, if you're not comfortable with that, as I'm usually not comfortable with it either, so it's not a big deal. You can go here, get the crystal here, and then just like roll in between these. Um, or roll, you can even roll above this, doesn't, like above these two, it doesn't matter. And then just roll off the side into the goal. Again, that one's a bit annoying as well. It only saves a l little bit of time over the slowest method, which I'll show in a second. But you can try this out, if you see if you're comfortable with it. Just roll off, straight to the goal. Um, if you don't want to do that, then the way that I usually do in runs, just in the safest way, barely loses any time, is just to go here, and just roll in here, and then just finish normally. So, those are the three strats that you can do for that section. I do the slowest one usually, but I just wanted to explain everything, just, um, just to get everything out there. So, alright. Next level, level 42. There's only a couple skips that you can really do on this level without doing the IL route, which isn't really worth it in runs. But yeah, so just start off the run normally. And then once you get this crystal, I don't, uh, my bad. <laughs> once you get this crystal here, you're gonna fall straight from this crystal down to that crystal in the top left over there. So just basically holding straight to the left and slightly down. And you land right here and you get the crystal. 
So you can do that. Um, here, I'll show it off one more time. So I got the crystal here. Hold straight left and slightly down. And land right where the crystal is. Um, if you don't want to do that, then you can just go around normally. It doesn't lose that much time just to do it normally. Just go here and fall down here. And the crystal's right here. Once you get it, then you just go down here, get the checkpoint. Go up here. Slow down near the end here so you can get a soft landing here. Put down the conveyor belts. Land. You can like land over this little um, hill here, just so you can go straight over it. Land here. Go up, get the crystal. You want to stabilize yourself as much as possible for, before you go over this path. You're not supposed to die there, obviously, but yeah. So I get this checkpoint. Stick to the wall here, go up here, and land right here. So aside from the first skip, you basically just do everything normal. Um, then there's one variation that you can do here. You can jump from here straight into the middle of the, the red grading section over to the right. So like that, kind of. You, you can jump straight into it without making any collisions like that. It's a bit faster. Um, if you don't want to do that, then you can just go around. Only saves about a second to do that strat. And just fall down here, fall down here. There's a couple small variations you can do for the ending here. I was not supposed to fall off, obviously. Okay, so. Fastest way is just to go here, and then jump straight down to the end here. Um, another way that you can do is I usually do in runs, just jump straight over this little gap here. So there's a, there's a gap right here, All right? That's about half a tile wide. So what you do is if you approach it, you can just jump over it, fall in the middle, and reach the goal. Or the last, most safest strategy um, is just to go around. So like here, and then just fall down and finish the level. So there's not that much um, room for optimization on this level um, with RTA strats, but th th that's pretty much everything, everything that you can do to save time in, in a realistic full game setting. And then there's the IL route if you want to look up the IL and watch it. Um, I'm starting to consider implementing it in runs myself. It saves a few seconds, but it's pretty difficult. So this is essential. This is generally what you should do. Now, um, for a while after this level in a full game run, I actually quit out and switched to Panda for the next three levels, since they're pretty difficult to do with Flashball if you have decent stats on them uh, on the Flashball that you're using. So I would definitely recommend with um, from now on, I'm going to be explaining all the strats that I do with Flashball and I'm going to all the alternate strats that you could do um, with Flashball. If you want to try them out with Panda as well, um, I'd actually recommend doing levels 43 through 45 with Panda as you're starting out. Um, I definitely yeah, recommend trying that for sure. So um, I think I'm going to explain um, level 44 with Flashball or Panda variations. So yeah, uh, but yeah, just definitely just keep that in mind as I go forward. Especially for 43. That's the main reason I used Panda, is for 43. But yeah, alright, so we'll move on to level 43. So to start off, you just do it normally by sticking to the wall, going up here, going around, getting the checkpoint, and getting on the on the magnet here, and then landing here. And you just want to take it slowly. If you're using Panda, this section will be a lot easier. But if you're using a, a flat flashball with decent stats, then you're going to have to be really careful here. So. Let's see. I'm just gonna do the movement at the speed I'm comfortable with just to show you the movement. Just like this. Just go back and forth. And then get the checkpoint. Now here, I like to just reset so it's easier for me to line myself up as I go down this path here, right? Callum does not reset on this. He just goes straight through. And I, you should definitely experiment um, to see. I don't think Panda can go fast enough to get through in one shot, so you might be able to go through a couple, wait, and then go through the last one, or just try going through all three. I don't remember for Panda specifically. Um, or if you're using a flashball, just see what time you get there generally, and if you can just go through. Um, but if you want to play it safe, like I do, then just reset here, since it's um, usually a lot easier to line up, um, line up your path down here. So yeah, get the crystal, go down, Go up here and get this crystal. I'll just normal movement through the level. Go up, up. Don't worry about that. See, sometimes I get tripped up on this level myself. This is part of the reason why I recommend Panda for newer players. Go up here, land right here, get the checkpoint, get the crystal, go across this. Now right here, I like to use this thinner path to launch myself up and land on the platform right here at the bottom of my screen with the wall there. So. 
like like this. Okay. It's a bit finicky, but let me try and show it one more time. So like this. And then kind of just land right here. Um, you can do that, or you can just go slowly, um, the normal normal path, and just land up there. So like, oh wait, <laughs> it's, it's ingrained in my muscle memory to do it that way. So hold on. So like this, and then just land here. Okay. Um, one backup I like to do is if I die around there, I like to just kind of hold back and left, back into the right, to reach the platform. Um, you see over there with the wall at the at the top of my screen, so like, like this. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, I, I see. I undershot it, then I overshot it. This should be just good, like that, <laughs> of course. So that's a backup I like to do. You can try it, or you can just do it again normally. It doesn't lose too much time. But yeah, that's level 43. Um, I'll double check. Um, with Panda, I think on the three moving blocks on the far side, like the the, the like after you get the first checkpoint or the second checkpoint um the moving blocks i think you can just roll all the way through with panda i think if you're fast enough um i'll post a little update just uh, if that's false but um just assume that's true um so yeah just finish the level here um okay so level 44 i'm going to explain flashball and panda variations so for level 44, um, this is the only level in the game without um, any crystals. Now, to before prefacing this level, I want to explain something I don't think I don't know if I've explained before, but I should explain it. In this game, if you're in the air, okay. So in Monkey Ball, or a game, a lot of marble games, you have death planes, and if you hit the invisible death planes, then you die. In this game, that's not the case. In this game, if you're in the air for a second and a half, and it's exactly a second and a half to my knowledge, so like. Zero, one, death. So you die if you're a second in the air for a second and a half. So there's basically basically an invisible timer that counts. It starts from zero if you're on the ground, and it counts up if you if you're in the air. And then once you hit the ground, it resets back to zero. Now this does not apply for one second after you start a level or reset from a checkpoint. So you basically have one second of invincibility before the timer starts counting if you just re reset to a checkpoint or to the start of the level, or if you've just started from a, uh, the begin beginning of a level. So for instance, if I, I'm just gonna reset, I'm gonna jump off the platform and I won't die for two and a half seconds. Ready? Zero, one, two, death. So like that. So you have an extra second of invincibility right after you start the level. So that is important for this level because you have a pretty long fall. The stratus just falls straight to the goal at the bottom. And the goal is basically right below you, a little bit down. So with Flashball, if you have, I believe, a good speed stat, speed controls your airspeed. So if you have a high speed stat, speed stat, you will be able to fall, if you have the right angle, fall down straight to the goal pretty consistently. Um, well, you won't, if you have high enough speed stat, you won't die before you reach the goal. So like here, I don't have the, the invincibility, if I just jump down. So I died if I didn't have the invincibility. Um, the one second of invincibility. Let's see if I can do the roll off strat. So the roll off strat, I made it. So there's basically, I, I showed the two ways that you can kind of get to the goal. So you can jump straight over the rail, slightly down and just fall down. Or you can roll off to the left and then fall a little bit back down to the right. The jump off strat only works with the invincibility. So here, I'll just show both of the strats again. So just jump off and then fall straight, and then I misaligned it. I didn't hold far enough down, so. Here. I, I was able to save it, but you wanna just fall straight in the middle of that. And then the other strat um, is to roll off the side like I did before, and then fall back down to the right, and then fall straight in. So yeah, I, I'm not as comfortable with this strat. There, and then just fall in. So remember that, that for the second strat you can do without the extra invincibility. The first, um, the one second of invincibility at the start of a level. The jump at the start, you cannot. Now, um, you can only do the second strat, um, the one where you roll off, with um, without the invincibility um, if you have a high enough speed stat, like I was saying. you So you should, if you want to play this level with flashball, you should test out 
which strats work with your specific flash bulb with your stats because I'm not going to go through every combination of speed stat but just test to see which strats work before you die How, like which strats um, if you can fall fast enough to reach the goal um, I believe panda you cannot do the jump strat at all and you can barely do the fall off strat so I'm just going to go ahead and show it off so you jump here you're going to fall too slowly okay so just with the extra invincibility, you might be able to make it in time. So you barely can make it. Um, can you do the roll-off strat? Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, I remember now. So the roll-off strat, the thing is, by the time you, you're able to fall off, you've burned too much invincibility, so that you can pretty much just can't make it down unless you're really precise. So you just can't make it. Um, the jump-off strat only works because you have the extra invincibility at the start. If I wait, when I do the jump strat, you're not, I'm not even going to come close. Yeah. So, if you're using Panda, you can just barely make it uh, by jumping at instantly, and you barely have enough high frames. See there, I didn't make it, just because I, I jumped too high or I jumped late, right? So this is a very risky strategy for Panda specifically. If you're using Panda and you want an alternate strategy, I'm going to show pretty much the fastest movement that you can do that's still safe. So um, there's a couple variations, but essentially what it is is you can fall straight down to the big platform down here. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay, so you need iframes for this strat, right? So you, if you roll down quickly after you respawn or start the level, you can roll down here. And you can jump to the ending if you want, but I get to backwards jump. So, um, like that. But if you wanna play it a bit safe, um, remember you wanna start the level and make sure you roll off right after you start the level just so you have the extra iframes in the air. You land right here. Oh, I accidentally jumped. Um, land right here. Go over to the exit here. And then just go through here. And then fall down to the goal. And I'm just going to time it. Um, so if you do the roll off strat and fall straight to the goal. Oh, wait, no, no. It's the jump strat. My bad. See, I'm stupid. <laughs> I haven't played this level with Panda in a long time. But yeah, okay. So if I do the jump off strat here. I missed. Oh, I haven't didn't time these correctly, like properly. Hmm. So here, that's about three seconds, right? And I'm gonna do the other strat just to compare the just to compare the routes. It doesn't lose that much time, actually. So here, nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> Not great right now. Panda is weird. I don't use him in runs anymore, so definitely lost the touch with him. All right, there. And then fall here. So it only loses like four and a half to five seconds. It's not a huge deal um, if you're just learning. There's a bit of a safer movement if you don't want to do the fall at the start, which is dependent on the number of uh, which means you. Ha it only works if you go quickly after the start and you have the the iframes to work with. Um, if you don't want to do that. Then you can do this movement. I'm just going to show it really quick. So just roll off, land here, go through here, and just fall down all these, and then finish the level normally, like I just showed before. Let's show it again really quick. Here, fall down all these, and then go through here. And that's only about a second slower than the initial strat, that, uh, the 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 other strat that I showed for Panda. The one. The one that involves falling down to the platform and then going around. So those are a couple of the variations that you can do. Um, and again, you can also do the um, the later two strats with flash ball as well. If you're if you if you want to use flash ball but you're not comfortable with the jump straight to the goal. So like I'll just go ahead and show both of these. So like you can fall straight to here, and then just move straight to the end. Or you can do the easier strat by just um, going down the, these paths normally. It doesn't lose too much time. So here, and then just going straight here, and just finishing, whatever. I, don't, I never do that strat, so I'm bad at it, but that's the idea. So yeah, that's level 44, that's all the variations. Just test with Panda, um, or with the Flash Ball with the stats you're comfortable with to see if you want to try and do the skip straight to the goal, or if you want to do either any of the other movement. It's really up to you, but make sure that if you want to do the skip to the goal, make sure it that A, you're comfortable with the strats that you can use to get there, one of the, one of the two strats, and B, make sure that the strat that you want to do 
works with your stats because it's dependent on your airspeed. So just be careful about that. All right, now for the last level, level 45. Um, I'm just gonna do this with Flashball, but everything that I do you, on this level, you can do with Panda as well. So just, if you're doing level 43 through 45 with Panda, just keep that in mind. All right. So for level 45, there's a couple, strat a couple methods to do it. The way I like to do it is basically to jump and then stick myself to like the side of the ramp every time. So here, jump, stick myself to the side, go up here, and then we're over here, and repeat. Stick myself to the side, go up here, here, get the checkpoint, stick to the side, roll through. And then here, there's a couple of variations that I like to do. Sometimes I, go, I do a skip here, and sometimes I just jump to the checkpoint. So the skip is to jump from here to the next crystal you see right in front of you, like this. And then just finish the level normally. Okay, well, whatever. You get the idea. So, um... The other strat that I like to do that's a bit safer sometimes is just to jump here to the checkpoint and then reset instantly. And then just do the movement by going up, land. Be careful on this too. This is um, this final movement is a bit tricky sometimes. So just land here. To do, at least it's tricky to do quickly sometimes. So here, go here, and then go to the end. So yeah, that's those are the fast faster strats that you can do. Um, I, I know that Callum doesn't do the jump and stick to the sides. He just rolls off and then sticks to the sides. And that's just an alternate method you, you can use for these um, ramps here um, as such. So just if you want to do one of these two, just try and figure out what's com more, most comfortable for you. And then you can jump to this checkpoint or you can roll off onto it. Um, either one works. So like, you know, let me just get back to that area. So like, if you're like just doing the movement, right? Oh, come on, bro. Here, and you got all the, all the crystals and you're up to this point, you can just like roll off into the checkpoint that I'm hovering right over now. So you can roll off onto it or jump onto it. Either one works. If you don't want to do um, th those strats, if those strats are too difficult, then you can just play the level normally. There's not that much difference. Just roll up here, roll down, go over here, roll over here, fall down, and just repeat the process. And it's pretty, this level's pretty repetitive, so once you get used to the movements in both directions, then you should be fine. Now I'd recommend trying this um, skip to the checkpoint, but if you don't want to do it, then you can just go out to the wall, get the checkpoint, and then finish the level normally. Uh, I guess I'll just do the movement again, just because it's the last level. Um, so yeah. Hopefully, I explained things pretty well in Night Town. I know I was um, level 44 took a bit longer to explain than normal, just because I had to explain the iframes and stuff. But hopefully, I explained it pretty clearly. Um, so yeah, um, just rem remember that one frame of invincibility, or one one second, full second of invincibility, um, after you reset to a checkpoint or the start of the level, or if you just start the level entirely. Um, um, basically, the in the invisible timer doesn't start counting to the one and a half seconds till death until after the full second has, has passed since you've started the level. So that's the that's the concept. Please let me know if that explanation wasn't clear um, because I can explain it over like um, over like Discord or I can make another video about it if people want just to explain it more in depth. Um, yeah, just let me know if that wasn't clear enough, and I'll be happy to explain it, try and explain it better. So yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the space tutorial next. Bye.